evening. Religion's dominating the news at the moment. In America, they've just started a $26 million creation museum that claims that the dinosaurs were just around in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve. No. Think you're getting the Bible confused with the Flintstones. <laughs> hey, Adam, do you want an apple? I have a dabba do. And of course, you still have the suicide bombers, the suicide bombers who think they're going to get to go to paradise and they're going to get the 72 virgins. And people have talked about the 72 virgins before, but nobody's ever looked at it from the virgin's point of view. What did these poor virgins do to deserve that? They've kept themselves nice. They've probably been teased at high school for being frigid. And as a reward, they have to spend eternity with mental Muhammad. <laughs> That's unfair. The only message I can get out of that for teenage girls is give it away for free as soon as you can. <laughs> Because you don't want that to happen to you. It's the best excuse for teenage sex. If your dad catches you, you're like, don't stop me, Dad, or the terrorists have already won. <laughs> it leads to terrible things, all this hatred in our society, like the citizenship test, or let's call it what it is, a test to stop Muslims from coming to our country. People are like, oh, no, Will, it's just a test to make sure people who come here have genuine Australian values. If you come to Australia, you've got to have genuine Australian values. You come to Australia, you've got to have genuine Australian values. Really? If that's true, all you'd have to do on the day of the test is chuck up sicky. <laughs> <laughs> Genuine Australian values. What does that even mean? What, my values? Your values? Whose values? What are your values there, mate? Well, I like to lie, cheat, steal. I cover up for my mates whenever they fuck shit up. Will I fit in? Shit, mate, you could be Prime Minister. <laughs> What are these genuine Australian values we're fighting so hard to defend? Is it the value of locking one of our own citizens in Guantanamo Bay for five years without a trial? And I'm no David Hicks fan, but I don't think we should make up crimes to arrest someone. David Hicks got charged with a thing called material assistance for terrorism. What the hell does that even mean, material assistance? It makes it sound like he designed the uniforms. <laughs> Queer eye for the Al-Qaeda guy. <laughs> Do you know what's in this summer? Camouflage. <laughs> Camouflage and beards. Camouflage and beards. You're the bomb. Oh, you are a bomb. <laughs> but Will David Hicks must be a terrorist. He met Osama bin Laden eight times. That was the argument they kept making. He must be a terrorist. He met Osama bin Laden eight times. I love that. I love the idea that George Bush can't find Osama bin Laden. <laughs> David Hicks can't get rid of him. <laughs> so piss off, Osama! I've got shit to do today. I've got to design these uniforms. <laughs> if we want to find a Sama, he's probably in Adelaide outside Terry Hicks's place, you know? Can David come out to play? <laughs> I'm bored in the cave. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been fun. Thanks very much for having me. See ya.